Let's talk about the pandemic now. In countries like India, it appears all but over. But in the West, new variants of the Wuhan virus have emerged. Some more infectious and lethal than the one that started the pandemic. The variant of concern now is the one first discovered in the UK. It forced the country into lockdown in December and set off alarm bells in Europe. It is now spreading rapidly in the United States. Infections are doubling every 10 days. Scientists say this could become the world's dominant strain. More contagious, more lethal and more dangerous. The new variant of the Wuhan virus that has swept across the United Kingdom might just sweep the world in all probability. What's really um, affected us at the moment is transmissibility because the new variant has swept the country, is going to sweep the world in all probability. The head of UK's genetic surveillance programme, Professor Sharon Peacock, was talking about the mutated virus strain found in Britain. The variant was first found in the southeastern county of Kent. After being identified in September 2020, the variant is now found in over 50 countries. It has led to new lockdowns in the UK and to a rise in global panic. The strain of the Wuhan virus is found to be 70% more infectious and 30% more lethal. The new and emerging respiratory virus threats advisory group has designated it as a variant of concern. The British advisory body is concerned about this variant's potential to undermine the shots. I think that what's concerning about this is that the 117 variant that we've had circulating for some weeks or months is beginning to mutate again and get new mutations, which could affect uh, the way that we handle the virus in terms of immunity and the effectiveness of, of, of vaccines. And so I think it's concerning that the 117, uh, which is more transmissible and which has swept the country, is now mutating uh, to have this new uh, mutation uh, uh, that could threaten vaccination. The Kent variant is now spreading rapidly in the United States, doubling roughly every 10 days as per latest reports. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has warned that Kent variant could become the dominant strain in the US by March. The findings are alarming. There are as many as a thousand different versions of the Wuhan virus circulating in the world. Experts are concerned about a few, namely the variants detected in South Africa and Brazil. However, the Kent variant is setting off alarm bells across the world, even more so in Britain's neighborhood. The experts tell us that the mutated virus could gain the upper hand over the previous one. And that's why the period between now and mid-March is very essential. Certain measures will remain in place, which also applies until 15th of March. It is not unexpected that new variants have developed. All viruses mutate as they make copies of themselves to spread and thrive. But some can be more infectious and threatening. So will the vaccines work? Current vaccines were designed around earlier versions of the virus, but scientists believe they should still work against new ones. What we know is that the vaccine is effective. We strongly believe that it is effective against severe disease, and that's important, and that's a very good reason to get vaccinated. Quibbles about whether how, how infectious you might be or whether it might be a bit less infectious, effective against minor disease shouldn't stop people from getting a vaccine that, that's going to stop you getting killed by this disease. What is being done about the new threat? Scientists around the world are on the lookout for all emerging variants. Vaccine makers are already working on updating the existing shots. The British government has announced a deal with biopharma company CureVac to develop vaccines against future strains. And the FDA is closely monitoring the new mutations. We do know that the 117, the one that is the UK, as it were, the one that we're concerned that over the next month or so it might become dominant. If you look at the antibodies that are induced by the vaccines that we use, they do very well in vitro in the test tube against the B117 variant. New variants will emerge. But every new emergence doesn't imply public health crisis. Different strains have different impacts. 
along with the observations and findings, the mechanisms to deal with the new crisis will develop with time. And so will the medication, for better or worse. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.